And there goes our start to the swim. The second event tonight in this three event races, races the swim. It's approximately 14 to 16 minutes, three quarters of a mile. And that is a quick turnaround tonight. Um, so we have 14 of the 15 patrols are entering a swimmer tonight. Kate May Point did not bring a swimmer today. Uh, and like we'd mentioned earlier, uh, Dolan Grishbaum, a Ocean City, 2021 Ocean City graduate and rising sophomore at Boston University has been dominant this summer uh, when it comes to these open ocean swims. Yeah, so the swimmers, uh, when the start just happened, they start all from a rope that's 25, about 25 yards in length that's parallel to the water's edge. And then you would hear the whistle and then the starting flag would signal the start of the race. And then you saw them run in and just, you know, start swimming towards that flag. The double, the double flag that is just beyond the singles flags. And we pointed out earlier, Fran put it out earlier with the little Italian colors. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and that's about, we say about three quarters of a mile total round trip. Yeah, and you can see in open ocean swimming is a very, very different animal than swimming in a pool. Um, I have not been a swimmer in about 20 years, but when <laughs> I was, I did do my fair share of open ocean swims begrudgingly. Uh, but it's, it can be fun. It's a very different um, type of race. It is a lot longer. There's obviously no flip turns involved. But you really, course can come into play. Water temperature comes into Water play. Water temperature, yes. Oh, yes. Anyone who's been to the beach in the last, all summer, really, we've, we've been battling some much cooler than usual temperatures. I believe today, this morning, it was about 61 degrees, which is still dramatically colder than it has been um, in typical summers from the past. And we have a lead group of six swimmers right now trying to break away from the rest of the pack. And they are drafting off of one another. So if you're the lead guy, you don't get any help whatsoever. But just like we used this analogy before, if you've ever been on a bicycle in a bike race behind someone in front of you, you know, they are forging a path for you. And somehow these guys are doing the same exact thing. There's a great shot from one of our drones. Yeah, they can get nice and close there. And a lot of these guys train together every morning. So before they even get to the beach, they have to keep up their pool, ac pool acumen for their winter sport. So they are training. You see the, and yes, they do bump into one another, which does not happen in the pool. Yes. Yeah, you do not have any of those, those lane dividers like you do in a pool. And like we said before, there's no nice straight black line to follow. So it's really, you're taking your own course and doing the best that you can. And it's a little more difficult for us to distinguish between the swimmers here, but last week on the Margate Memorials was one of the first times that a lot of these swimmers really truly competed against each other. And in that, we do have all five of those swimmers back tonight. Um, Dolan Grishbaum from Avalon was first last week. Zach Vassar from Margate was second. Dylan DeWitt from Ocean City was third. Brendan Lewis from Wildwood was fourth. And James Haney from Brigantine was fifth. And like we've said before, truly every point counts. Um, so Zach Vassar, if he has a strong performance, that could's gonna help their, those Margate boys. Um, Atlantic City, who were unofficially won the doubles, John Saul is swimming for them tonight. And Patrick Armstrong from Longport is making his little debut. And Pat Armstrong and James Haney were part of the high school Relay team yes. that won the around the island swim on Tuesday. How impressive. And that again, that was some cold water. It was in the 50s that day. They said they went from a bay of 79 degrees to an ocean of 55. Oh my gosh. That is a jolt to the system. Absolutely, yeah. And they are really spreading out here. These swimmers who were swimming, it looks like they're swimming alone. By the way, we do have judge boats out there. You can see them. And we have people on personal watercrafts. So we try to keep all the competitors as safe as possible. But they are also working a little harder than the guys who have, uh, are actually following people as they approach the singles flag. But uh, the swim flag will be maybe 100 yards past the singles flag. Yes, and that can vary from patrol to patrol. Um, the, home, the home patrol does set each course. There is no, like we think we said before, there is no super, super long measuring tape to <laughs> get an exact dis distance from shore. So they are approximate. Um, but if I was a swimmer seeing those singles flags, I would start to get... Start to be excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. So 
as they approach that uh, double flag, that would mean that they're going to turn around and those swimmers will you know, swim to that buoy approximately three-eighths of a mile into the sea, you know, approximately. Um, and a stake boat will be, should be around there or some type of, you know, official will be there. And then this, as the swimmers turn, they must call out their city as they round the flag according to the rules. So as they turn, they'll say who, who they are, where you know, their city and go on their merry way back to shore. Yeah, you can start to see, it looks like that top pack of six is there's a little bit of separation, but still they can, they can probably see and feel that the kick from the person bef in front of them. So they are all very well aware of who is where. Let's look like that guy in the lead separating a little bit more. And even you can see a little bit of the wake off of these boys. For those of you that are swimmers, you know that it, you see the arms moving, but it's really that powerful kick behind is what really propels these guys forward. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So, and again, like we said, the top five in each event will score points. So that those three boys in the back that are kind of battling out for fifth, fourth, and fifth right now, they really, really can make or break. That's right. Every point matters. And it looks like Dolan has a nice, Dolan Grishbaum has a nice lead out there. But second and third, they're literally on top of one another. Yeah, they're right there. So I feel like as usually as they turn the flag, it starts to spread out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, you can see the two battling for second and third there in the yellow cap. And I think that's a red cap. Yes. Still not sure what patrol they are, but. But that is, you're right, and that is a big difference with this ocean op open ocean swimming. And as we see them coming up on the flag. Coming around, you see the stake boat. And it doesn't matter in the swim which direction you turn. As long as you turn that flag clearly, yell out your city name, and then start kicking hard back to shore. Mm -hmm. There's definitely, you can see the lead guy, who we're, we're assuming is Dolan, um, is starting to separate a little bit. And he did have that navy blue cap on at the memorials. Followed closely by, again, it looks like two swimmers that are fighting it out for second and third. Yeah, I got to give props to these swimmers. Oh, yes. It's a long swim. Natalie, I like what you said the other day about your <laughs> water sports. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a water sport person, but only above the water, not really <laughs> in it. <laughs> Yeah, if they had a little bit of swell, that would have helped them out a little bit, just kind of like the rowers. Um, and then maybe as they get closer to the shore, they'll be able to catch a wave just to finish off their swim because, you know, probably exhausted by the end of this. And we do have an unofficial doubles finish. In first place, we have – this is unofficial, ladies and gentlemen, as the swimmers approach the swim flag. Unofficially, we have Atlantic City in first place with five points. Margate in second place with four points. Longport in third with three points. Brigantine in fourth with two points. And Avalon in fifth with one point. And like we said before, that, that fifth place for Avalon and that doubles could make a very, very big difference if Dolan is able to hang on and do what he's been doing all summer and get a win out here in the swim. And you will tell, a lot of times in these races, particularly when there's only three, it Oftentimes, crews and teams can go into the singles race tied or down of one, and the singles will really often determine who the overall winner is. And yeah. this, this swimmer here is, looks like he is well into his sprint. He's not that far away from the, uh, the surf line, if, even though it's a small surf line today. And second and third are still right on top of one another. Yeah, I was They are say, neck and neck. They haven't moved from each other, so yeah, they are like really battling battle. it out. I wonder if they're trash talking each other <laughs> between breaths. I don't, I don't, I don't have enough air to do that, but I'm sure <laughs> some elbows might be being thrown a little bit. A little side breaststroke kicking every now and then. Yeah, and you can see some of the singles crews warming up on this side. Or I guess that's towards the top of the screen there. I see uh, swimmers finish up. Yes, and we do have one female in this event tonight, Lindsay Robbins from Upper Township. Always love to give a little bit of love to these girls that can hang with the boys. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Lindsay. 
And there goes second and third again, battling. The young man in the yellow cap looking like he might have maybe a quarter body length, but then a stroke comes along and it looks like the man in the pink cap might be on, in front of him. Yes, and like we, uh, the little bit of a difference in the swim race as opposed to the rowing races, both those rowing races, they finish in the water. There's a finish line out in the water, whereas the swim, when they finish, they have to get up out of the water, surf, dash out, run up onto the beach, and it's the first person to tag the rope, uh, which is where they started as well. And that's usually a little bit, maybe about 10, 12 yards up the beach um, at the end of the race. Mm -hmm. So yeah, course is very important here because you don't want to be running a ton after you just finished a three quarter of a mile swim in the ocean. Agreed, yes. <laughs> And again, I can just kind of go through some of the swimmers we have competing tonight. We have John Saul from Atlantic City, Dolan Grishbaum, who we believe is leading in Avalon, James Haney from Brigantine, who again was fifth um, last week and was part of that Around the Island crew as well, Ty Manuel from Cape May, Patrick Armstrong from Longport, Zach Vassar, who was second last week from Margate, Seamus Madden from North Wildwood, Dylan DeWitt from Ocean City, who could also be up in that top group. He was third last week in Margate. Andrew Taylor from Sea Isle. Nathan Piccolo from Stone Harbor. Lindsey Robbins from Upper Township. My personal fan favorite, Mike McMenamin from Ventnor. Brendan Lewis from Wildwood and Brett Peterson from Wildwood Crest. Mike McMenamin, crowd favorite. He is. He is, he is a gamer and I'll tell you what, he's also a very good rower. Not too often you see a lot of swimmers who can also row a boat and he is one of those one of our talented boys that can do both quite well coming into the beach now that's Dolan Grishbaum from Avalon Grishbaum excuse me Gris, not Grish Grishbaum and again if this if this is Dolan coming in this would be a clean sweep for him this summer I believe yes and that is a nice lead um I think four-time defending champ Joey Tepper is not here from Longport. It's not here. I think he's in an internship this summer, but he was winning by lengths of this much, by this mm -hmm. much and of I, the lead. And I believe Dolan was second yes. last year, right behind him. So it's probably nice for him to clear the stage a little bit for him to uh, and you never know have next his year, time to shine. Next year, Joey might be back. It'll be interesting. And these other swimmers, they will also improve. Mm -hmm. Each year, you know, another year of experience under your belt, no matter how you do, is like, valuable. And we can see those singles rowers who were warming up. They're pausing right there to let the swim finish as they're coming into the home stretch. And you'll see shortly that as they start to get more to the shallow water, they'll be able to stand up and you'll see them start to do what's called a surf dash in. So oftentimes they'll do what's called a little bit of a porpoise, which is where they dive forward. If they can hop on a wave, they definitely will. And then once you can run, you're just getting those knees up and you're running to shore. Nice. And this does look like unofficially Dolan Grisbaum is the South Jersey champ in the swim from Avalon. Nice. All right, again, second and third. It's, it's neck and neck right here. People use the word literally a lot. It is literally neck and neck as they're coming in. Looks like maybe a little course correction. Yeah, and this will come down to a run. Wow, I can't imagine doing that swim right next to somebody the whole time. They think that's Carson Vassar in the, I'm sorry, Zach Vassar in the pink cap from Margate City. Oh, here they go. It looks like Zach's going to get it. Oh, that was, that was exciting. Yeah, it's not too often you see some close, close finishes in the swim, but... Right? And that might, was that Wildwood in third? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. I didn't see any... Um, Could be. Brendan Lewis from Wildwood. He was fourth last week, so he's another one who's been having a terrific summer. Yeah. Really the only way for us to identify is they are usually typically marked on their shoulders. Um, we're just a little bit too far away to really get a good angle of who is who right now as they run in. Right. And uh, speaking of Wildwood, I just want to give a few shout outs to the <laughs> Wildwood Beach Patrol crew watching alumni, my cousin Shane Story, 
the GOAT of 26th Street stand, he says. And, you know, a lot of people say that. Alumni, Jack, happy 50th, and congrats, Lieutenant Jan. 30 years of service. Bring the fast bell tonight, guys. And my family at home watching um, in our backyard. So thanks for watching. And then we have the fourth place finisher, and here comes our fifth place finisher coming up. And go running into shore. And again, you can see how we mentioned the course before. So the current's pulling a little bit south tonight. So these guys, as they're coming in, they, some of them do have to, as they run in, run a little bit down beach. And there's typically there's a rope tied between that lifeguard stand that you can see in the shot as well as to another one. 